everybody. Today I show you one of my summer staples, fresh coleslaw. I love the melange of crisp veggies, dried fruit, nuts, and a flavorful vinaigrette. And to make it even cooler, we're gonna use that slaw in fry bread tacos, another summer tradition. Today's music is provided by Bo Hillier. He's a longtime friend of the show. A musical ninja popping up at open mics whenever it suits his fancy. If you're, I hope you're lucky enough to catch him sometime. I love how wonderful the lighting is in this video, and the food is pretty damn good too. Enjoy. Our ingredients for the body of the slaw are two cups of julienne cabbage, four cups of julienne carrots, six radishes thinly sliced, a half a cup of dried cranberries, and half a cup of roasted soy nuts. For the dressing, you will need a cup of extra virgin olive oil, one third cup of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and a mason jar with the lid. For the bread, use the recipe from episode one of Under the Apple Tree. You will need herbs consisting of arugula, green onion, and sage, and a cast iron skillet. You'll also need about two-thirds of a cup of oil for frying. The yogurt sauce will require one cup of plain yogurt, one tablespoon of orange juice, a teaspoon of crushed coriander, and salt and pepper to taste. Slaws and salads make up a large portion of our summer meals. They are easy, there's no need to turn on the oven, and I generally have all the ingredients at hand. This recipe features cabbage, which I find very satisfying because of its bite and flavor. We are using a standard green cabbage. I usually cut off the chunks as I need them. Core the cabbage by cutting it into force and trimming out the solid white core. Julienne or shred two cups and reserve the remains. Cabbage holds very well under refrigeration. The remaining cabbage will still be usable for five to seven days. The carrot should be shredded or thinly sliced. I use this nifty tool that Amy found me. It juliennes as it shreds. Who knew the future held such promise? Nothing says early summer, like the spicy crunch of a fresh radish. Some radishes have heat, some are sweet, though whichever you can get your hands on will make this slaw really pop. Our dressing is a classic balsamic vinaigrette. We are simplifying the recipe by using a mason jar to emulsify our ingredients. An emulsification is the attempt to bind two things that do not mix, like oil and water. We use honey or mustard to pull and hold that dressing together. The mason jar allows us to shake it like crazy, dispersing the oil into small droplets, which in turn creates a greater adhesion of the ingredients. This will separate over time, so if storing it, shake again before serving. When it looks creamy, we're good to go. Add the dried cranberries and roasted soy nuts to the cabbage blend. Toss this all with a vinaigrette and your coleslaw is all ready to go. Fry bread is one of my favorite summer treats. It reminds me of attending summer powwows and filling up with the fried doughy goodness smothered in honey. Many cultures have some style of fried bread from Native American tribes to India, and even donuts. Fried bread has been a staple. The dough for the fry bread follows the same recipe as the focaccia featured in our first episode. Follow the directions, but after punching it down, cut the ball in half three times. Each of these pieces is then kneaded and herbs are added. Shape the herbed dough into six to eight inch discs and fry four to five minutes on each side in 350 degree oil. I love using cast iron because of the history and the flavor that imparts in the food. I heat the oil over medium low to medium high heat, taking care not to overheat it. If it smokes or starts to smell off, let it cool, discard it, and start again. The combination of coriander and orange paired with the zing of the yogurt creates a zesty Mediterranean inspired condiment. Place all of your ingredients in a bowl and mix thoroughly, adjusting the seasoning as needed. Now to bring it all home. We had some folks over for a cookout and have some leftover smoked chicken, which will be used for our fry bread tacos. 
Each taco is built by placing chicken in the middle of the fry bread, a good amount of slaw on top of that, drizzle with the yogurt sauce, hand to your cameraman, and enjoy. There's nothing like sitting outside with friends enjoying awesome food and reaping the rewards of a good day's work. Mmm, fry bread, such a nice treat. Don't be afraid to try different ingredients in both the bread and the tacos. I love doing these camping on the Coleman stove as well. Thanks again to Bo for sharing his music. Uh, remember to catch him if you can. Uh, join us for another episode of At The Market tomorrow featuring the Sheboygan Market. And uh, Under the Apple Tree returns next Thursday with a show about getting in the garage and making stuff, or at least trying to. Uh, either way, it'll be fun. Follow us on Twitter, at Apple Tree Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Under the Apple Tree. And don't be afraid to leave a comment or two. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time, Under the Apple Tree.